Hi there. After I recorded my video uh, with the stable diffusion troubleshooting and error handling, uh, I had the chance to install the Dreamboot GUI from this repo. And uh, I have seen that my uh, troubleshooting uh, was not working uh, as expected so i have created an alternative uh, converter i mean i have implemented uh, the alternative uh, converter so it's uh, the installation is the same you need python and you need git you need to add them to the path and I will start, uh, I will click the install. This will install the required uh, Python libraries to the scripts folder. Anyway, uh, and uh, after that, uh, this repo got updated 10 hours ago and uh, it has the support for checkpoint conversion automatically so uh, when you download the latest version uh, it can convert the models to ckpt automatically however i didn't know uh, that it will uh, he will add the uh, support for the checkpoint conversion uh, so I have added uh, a new conversion uh, option to the uh, stable diffusion toolbox which is the version 2 by the way so it's still installing the um, necessary python libraries it's the same as uh, before uh, version 1 it has just one more option and I will show you what it will do in a second after this installation finishes. Just give me a little bit of time. So it's done. And uh, here is my model. Trained with the Dreamboot GUI, by the way. I can launch the GUI just to show you and uh, you need docker for this to work and wsl2 uh, there is this these instructions how you can set up this and after that you put the uh, training images here train uh, configuration your configuration and this is the triggering word for your uh, prompt. This is the uh, class prompt training steps. I have uh, in my first trial, I have uh, done uh, 600 steps as suggested, and it works on, uh, on uh, 1080 Ti, which is very good and uh, it's working on windows and 600 steps it was okay and uh, in half an hour uh, it has done the training with the uh, 25 images so it was kind of surprising and it was fast and uh, after that i have done uh, uh, 
1200 steps uh, it was around one and a half hours to train a little bit more but still uh, it's it's fast so uh, you may need a hugging face token just to download the uh, diffusers uh, model and it will take some time uh, when you first try to uh, train your model because it will download a lot of files anyway this is the uh, dream boot GUI and uh, let's see uh, the option that I have added to version 2 <coughs> sorry this is the same as version 1 but uh, now you have the option 3 I have added uh, in between here so a little bit of uh, numbers has pushed uh, forward this was the uh, third option uh, I will close this one just uh, not to get distracted and uh, this was the third option now it's the fourth option and fifth and sixth so uh, when you have a, a model like this this was trained uh, with the GUI and uh, if you look at the folder structure uh, you don't see the safety checker and the feature extractor here that was the expected uh, that was the expected uh, folder structure so if I try to convert with the second option let's try that and it's asking for the model path I will press enter and press enter this will give some error as I have shown in the um, troubleshooting video So let's launch the program again. This time I will uh, try uh, to convert it with the third option. Press enter. And press enter here. Now you will see uh, it's converting the model it's around uh, 4 gigs uh, let's try to prune the model Oh, sorry. Uh, I have made a mistake. Uh, I should have pressed the fifth option.
so this is the pruned version uh, I have tried this with the automatics 11 11s repo and uh, the model work works uh, with the stream boot uh, uh, GUI uh, I mean uh, trained with the dream boot GUI and this works in automatics uh, repo so uh, just uh, want to share some information and the program update uh, the rest is the same the functionality is the same so i i was a little bit uh, busy uh, lately so i'm planning to um, planning to uh, add some new content to the channel and uh, some uh, more programs uh, from github uh, to be installed easy like this one you press the install button you get the functionality I'm preparing some uh, programs and uh, just uh, making some refinements and uh, it will be ready uh, so stay tuned for that uh, I will not name the programs that I'm working on but uh, you know uh, everybody is uh, focused on uh, more unstable diffusion nowadays but however there are some uh, interesting projects other than stable diffusion so that uh, that will be fun okay anyway that's it uh, for this video i see you next time